Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Visuino sub diagrams in professional version of Visuino. This is very useful when your project is a bit bigger and you would like to downsize the amount of components. To use the sub diagrams in Visuino Professional, just click on the project in the menu and click on the add sub diagram and as you can see another tab will be displayed called sub diagram 1. Now here you can add your components. In our example we are going to put a simple pulse generator and generate the pulses and use this sub diagram in the main window. Double click on the sub diagram 1 and in the properties window select output and drag digital output to the left side. Now close the properties window. Add pulse generator component. Now connect pulse generator 1, pin out, to sub diagram 1, digital output 1, pin in. And we are pretty much done here. Now click on the main tab and under the components in the search box type sub diagram and you will see the component appear. Now drag this component to the left side. Now this sub diagram contains the pulse generator and we could also add some other components. But for now if you connect digital output to the Arduino board digital pin 13 where the LED is, uh, you should see LED blink. So this is pretty much the simple tutorial for sub diagrams. Uh, it is very useful to, to use it when you need some calculations and you don't want to use the main window for that. At the moment you can use sub diagrams only for internal components so you cannot connect sensors to it but you can use all the rest of components like compare integer, uh, generators, digital components and so on. Now let's say that we would like to turn the pulse generator on and off using a button. To do that go to the sub diagram tab and double click on the sub diagram 1 and in the properties window expand input and drag digital input to the left side. Now close the properties window and from the components drag toggle flip-flop component and also drag a debounce button component. Now connect sub diagram 1, digital input pin out to the button 1 pin in and connect button 1 pin out to flip flop 1 pin clock. Now select pulse generator 1 and in the properties window select enabled and click on the pin icon and select boolean sync pin. Now as you can see a new pin appeared called enabled. 
and connect flip-flop 1 pin out to pulse generator 1 pin enabled. Now this is pretty much done. All we need to do is go to the main tab. Now as you can see we have two pins. One is for the input and one is for the output. If you check this schematic I connected the button to the digital pin 2 on the Arduino. So I'm going to connect Arduino board digital pin 2 to the sub diagram 1 digital pin 1 and connect digital output 1 to the Arduino board pin 13 where the LED is. Now if you upload the code and press the button you should turn the power generator on or off so the LED will either blink or be off. That will be all for now. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you soon.